Hey everyone and welcome back. Last time we discovered that Queen Cersei is the queen of pistols, essentially. She executed the hell out of people. I say people, it's she... It's dark, it's dank, and it's mostly metal. All right, Central. This ship isn't all that different from the old base. Yeah, she executed, well, technically one person executing straight away one shot to the head. The other one took a couple of shots, but yeah, she's definitely the MVP. Stoneheart, she had a great sniper shot on his set side. And the good thing about this mission, we now have a new soldier. And that soldier's name is Bronn of the Blackwater. Let's have a look at him. He's a rogue. Okay, Bronn. Liking the look of you. He's got an instant promotion. Um, so what's he got so far? So we can do conceal or lightning reflexes. First reaction shot against you misses. I like the sounds of that for Brom. Brilliant. So we've got Brom with us. It looks like he's got light machine gun as well. So he's got blind side flanking shots with SMGs adds one extra damage. So he's going to be a flanking guy. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, Cersei, unfortunately, is out for 19 days, apparently gravely wounded. Uh, Catelyn's no longer shaken. Rob, we really need to take him on a mission, get him uh, available for us again. Pretty much, we could form a, uh, a Stark attack wing. Yeah. Um, right, let's have a look. We get back over to what we're trying to do here. So we can get a reward of a scientist, distress beacon. Let's Avenger have a look. We could do with one. Course. I haven't forgotten about making contact. We've got a couple of weeks. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Oh, excellent. Let's have a look. I've often wondered how the aliens could conceive of such a being. Is there another world out there filled with these shape-shifting creatures or are they merely another construct of alien genetic tampering? So early reports from the resistance referencing an alien creature said to be capable of shape-shifting were initially dismissed by local cell leaders who attributed the scientists to combat stress and malnutrition. It wasn't until our own forces engaged with the creature that we successfully confirmed its existence. Surprisingly enough, the description of the creature from those early reports was quite accurate. With a varying height of up to 3 meters, bloody hell, the specimen currently referred to as the Faceless has one of the more unusual internal structures I have ever encountered. Where one might expect to find a skeletal foundation, we instead see a series of malleable shitting like uh, structures providing various points for the expansion of several equally unusual fluid membranes. The membranes in question are responsible for the faceless's um, ability to mirror the form of a human in recirculating key cellular combinations via an elaborate internal structure. My god, this is tiring. The faceless is capable of forming solid shapes while also mirroring colours and textures without physical sampling. As of yet, we've only seen evidence of the faceless attempting to imitate humans, but not of a species or inanimate objects. That would be scary if they could do that. Imagine like a box all of a sudden turns into one of these guys. Whether or not this is a limitation of their genetic makeup or an intentional manipulation of their abilities by the aliens, we cannot say. So it's actually given us uh, the option for mimic beacons. Which is quite handy because it generates a, uh, a holographic image of one of us. Okay, what's it going to be next? Um, yes, this is the mission we've got to do, so let's do that. It's only going to take four days. appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common Advent Trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate Advent forces. Now that's somewhat interesting because Lord Commander, who was taken out of the uh, out of imprisonment in the first episode, which is kind of like the tutorial mission, had a chip in his head, and it looks like he was being used somehow uh, for his combat skills. And 
all of these Advent officers, grunts, they all have similar chips in their heads. So hopefully, this is going to allow us to find out a little bit more about From what's actually happening. Advent generally deploys heavy security rather than subterfuge when it comes to protecting their primary facilities, at least the ones I had access to personally. If they have gone to the trouble of hiding this black site, I suspect our findings there will lead us to even greater questions. Hello, Commander. Hey, Shen. Just checking out the Mimic Beacon. It takes two faceless corpses. It's going to be a while before we're going to be able to use that. Uh, which is fine by me, because I um, had a chance to take a closer look at some of the Advent weapons recovered from the field. The alloy used in their frames is significantly lighter, making them more suited to the human form. I'm guessing it's the same material we've seen them using all over the colonies, but they'd have to be producing it from something here on Earth. They seem to have an endless supply of this stuff. Not a problem, Shen, not a problem. It says down here on low scientists, in case you're looking at the bottom, we've got span cues. I'm not actually going to make too many cues. I want to manage this as best as I can. Let's try and get another scientist at least. Four days. Guerrilla tactics skill will be up and running very shortly as well. Commander, we have a priority message coming through. It looks like an encoded signal from the resistance. Patching it through to your quarters now. Hello, Commander. Hey, Optimus. It seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. We're tracking the aliens' progress on this Avatar project here. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. Alright, so this is interesting now. It's begun. Um, obviously at the top you can see the Avatar project is building towards something that we're unsure of right now because we haven't actually uncovered any of their black sites, we haven't gone through, oh hang on, that was a mistake, yeah we haven't got enough information to say exactly what it is yet but we do have to keep an eye on this, I'm not too worried about it building up right now because we can always fight against it. Um, Dark events, let's just double check how long we've got on this one, estimated 3 week, oh UFO is hunting the Avenger, we don't want that to happen. We could do with stopping that. Let's get ourselves a scientist first. Get the tactic skill and alien debris out of the way. And then we'll go over and try and make some contact. Gorilla Tactics School now operational. Brilliant. I love those little alien punching bags. Um, so. Train soldier with leader abilities. We can upgrade 125 supplies. As a station where soldiers of sergeant rank or greater can train special leadership abilities. Well, it's not great right now because we don't have any sergeants. Um, what we can do is do new combat tactics. So here's what you can see we can do so far. 75 supplies is the cost. So enemies drop an additional item of loot. We can increase the squad size, which we'll probably end up doing. Lightning Strike. 
three mobility for the first two turns of battle okay and wet work is experience that's interesting as well I think we're gonna go squad size first and then probably wet work will be our second one so now we can take five people with us that is good I like that a lot okay we need to wait for alien debris and then we can have a look at the next one that one's locked can't do anything with that ideally I want to go straight down So let's get the scientist. Yes. Right, so now we can build a few more things. Let's have a look. I think I might go down first. Peter Baelish, get on the excavation, please. Not going to build anything there just yet. Our power supply is not the best. And the power cores are too low down. We are going to have to do something with one of these. We get 27 supplies, 51. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy with that. Two days and we'll get a scientist. Marjorie Tyrell has joined us. Okay, thank you very much, Marjorie. Research time decreased by 25%. Okay. So, I think we'll need to pick up probably some supplies. When are we looking? Still three weeks. Estimated time though, so we got to be careful with this. Avenger plotting new course. I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. That's what we thought. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Mm -hmm. Yes, however, the advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the Commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes, what we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory, Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. Even in the subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live admin officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. New objective added. So, access the alien network. Um, Skulljack project. Improving ground. Okay, so this is going to let me hack into a live commander. Okay. We're ready to move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. Commander, if we're going to try to build this Skulljack that Tygen came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. That's right, we probably are. Let's choose some new research first, then we'll have a look at that. So, resistance radio, we don't need that just yet. Let's go for the trooper autopsy. Knowing that my past surgical experience is limited, I am sure the crew appreciates that I hone my skills on fallen Advent forces before triaging our own wounded. To the uninitiated, 
the common Advent Trooper is seemingly human. The aliens have disguised this most glaring divergence from the human form with a carefully designed helmet. Okay, so that's underway. Progress is fast, it's going to take two days. We've got Marjorie there as well, working on it, so that's good for us. We need to, uh, 19 days, wow, that's a long period of time. Can we go ahead and do anything on this? No, Baelish is busy, damn it. We could do with another engineer. So we're going to have to do proving ground, so let me just think for a moment. So workshop needs 125 supplies, so we're doing right to go for supplies. That would take one power as well, pushes up to 10. However, I feel like we need to do that on the on the one below this. This one will probably end up being proving grounds, which takes 14 days, 100 supplies. So either way, we're gonna need more supplies. So we are doing the right mission. So we've got five days to get supplies. The autopsy will get the results back shortly as well. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. Despite a thorough analysis, I have ah. yet to discover what, if any, advantage the Advent Hybrid Soldiers' enormous eyes provide. Battle Testing scanner. their visual acuity will no doubt prove difficult. That's interesting. So it's like a grenade, it's like a camera grenade, essentially. Stun Lancer Autopsy. Or do we go for weapons? I'm going for the quick ones first, so let's go for the, the other Advent autopsy. The Stun Lancer was apparently outfitted with the intention of serving as a civilian peacekeeping unit within the city centers. Although they are equipped with weapons capable of administering non-lethal blows, recent reports indicate an increasingly aggressive stance taken by these units. So this is probably going to unlock Stun Lancer itself in four days. Okay, let's pop over to Shen. Hey, Commander. I want to see what we need in order to get the battle scanner. Just thirty supplies. That's it. Okay, that's interesting. We're not going to do it. We're trying to save her supplies. Thanks, Shen. See you later. Let's go back to the bridge. At least we're going to get these by the end of uh, this one. Commander, we just got word that the resistance hit an advent supply line. We have an opportunity to salvage some high value materials, assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding the site first. Operation Wolf Valley. Raid the advent train. I don't think we can pass this up. Setting course for Sector 8, Mexico. Okay, now we can get five of us. And if it's Wolf Valley, who's going to be better to go than the Starks? Bran, step up. Rob, come join us. Eddard, there you are, sir. Catelyn. And who else? Who shall join the Starks? Hmm. Let's have an all northern, all northern strike force moments. I think we're pretty much that. It's the most colourful band of people I've ever seen. These Starks are going to do quite well. I just want to have a quick look at their kit. So let's have a look at uh, Eddard's for a moment. We're just going to double check. Yeah, we're going to keep him on that particular weapon. That's fine. Grenade launcher. We don't have much choice there. He's got two frag grenades. So it's good to know that he'll be able to carry a second one um, when we do upgrades to either one of the beacons. Kevlar armor is our only choice. I'm actually okay with that. Let's make sure we're fine with everyone else. Um, Bram we were happy with. Stoneheart we're more than happy with. Uh, Moment's got a shotgun as well. Okay, so I'm going to end this episode here. Join us in the next one where the Starks are going to Wolf Valley. Thanks for watching, see you then.